Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess. Today, we're gonna auto-magically create news posts. So we're gonna do this in Power Automate. There's actually four steps that you need to do. So you can't just create a news post. No, first you have to use a template, or that's what I like to do is use a template. Then you have to check out the new page that you created. Then you have to write content, and then finally publish. We're gonna make this easy, all perfect to do, Power Automate. I'm gonna call it Auto Magic. If you like this content, Please like and subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, I have a brand new SharePoint site. It's called Auto Magic. I created a list in here. It just has the title field right now. So when we create a title, let's see if we can get it to load. When we create a title or an item in this row, it creates a SharePoint news post. But in order to do that, I wanna set up a template that it pulls out. So I'm gonna to go to new news post. I wanna make a template for it. So yeah, you know, you could do a newsletter, an event, status update. I'm just gonna keep this simple for this demo. We're gonna do blank news. I'm gonna create post. And this, we are going to call it, let's call it template. And it's a blank news post and we could have some text here and right here is a little arrow and it's save as template. We want to save this as a template. So we've saved this as a template. And if we go to site contents and we look in our site pages, you'll see that we have our template here and it's also saved under templates. So let's just leave the template.aspx here. And now let's go to Power Automate. When a new list item is created in our site, it's called Auto Magic, and the list name is Create News Post, right? So Auto Magic Create News Post. We are going to. That's our trigger. Now your trigger can be whatever you'd like it to be. We are going to do a HTTP request, and it's going to be of type SharePoint. And this does not require premium licenses. As long as you do an HTTP request inside SharePoint, it does not require a license. So we're gonna do it in our site Auto Magic. We're gonna do a post, a post. Now this URI is gonna be a little bit long, but I'll put it in the description of the video. So you do a slash underscore API slash web slash get file by server relative, relative, gotta make sure you spell it all right, URL, okay? Sites slash auto magic slash site pages slash template.aspx, that's the name of our template. And we want to make sure that that's in single quotes and parentheses. So you got to be very careful. So copy paste does help here. We're going to copy to the single quotes again, slash site, slash auto magic, slash site pages. And then this is where we're going to do dynamic content of our title. And you got to make sure that slash is in there. It removes, removes the slash sometimes. And then dot ASPX single quote ending parentheses. So for the headers, we want to make sure we do content. And I'm just going to paste this in application JSON O data verbose. Accept application JSON O data verbose. Okay, so next we want to do action and we want to get the ID of this page, not the title, but the actual ID. And when we do this HTTP request, it actually doesn't give us anything back. So we want to get the ID. And to do that, I'm going to do get file metadata, I believe. File, not metadata, but I like this one here. This is a preference. This is me being biased. Get file metadata using path. I like to use that one. And we're going to do auto magic. And then, so the first time, just come in here, go into your site pages, and actually select the template, right? So we just select the template, but what we really want to do is delete the template name and we want to pull in our title. And this is where we have to add in that slash again, dot ASPX. So now we're saying, hey, 
get the file metadata of the post that we just created, right? So now we got the file of the post we just created. Next, we're gonna do another HTTP request. Uh, send HTTP for SharePoint, once again, non-premium. And this time what we wanna do is, we have to do a step and that's to check it out. So we're gonna go to our auto magic, we're gonna post, and then we are going to check out our site. So underscore API slash site pages, once again, pages, and this is gonna be the file metadata using path, the ID. This is why we grabbed the ID. So we grabbed the ID there, and we probably don't need a single quote. I'm not sure if the single quote matters or not. And what do we wanna do? We want to check out the page. And once again, content headers, application JSON, O data verbose, except same thing, application, JSON, OData, Verbose. So now, okay, we created a page. Now we wanna check it out so we can write into it. So we can rename this if we want. So we'll call this um, send HTTP checkout. That'll just help us. So then now we're gonna do another HTTP request. Send HTTP SharePoint. Let's see if it finds it for me. So we're gonna do another one. And this one is going to write. So this is gonna to write to our newsletter. So the URI is gonna be very similar once again. So it's underscore API slash site pages slash pages. And then once again, we could probably copy paste, but uh, we'll just copy paste. So I'll take this, copy paste, but this time, what do we wanna do? We wanna save page as draft. So now that we've checked it out, we are going to actually write inside of it. So when we write inside of it, we want to do a header of content. So on this one, we're actually gonna do a application JSON OData equal no metadata. I, I think um, verbose may work, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that that's how I did it before, so that's how I'm gonna do it this time. And then the accept, once again, is application JSON OData verbose. And now in the body, this is where we're gonna have a large JSON. Actually, I believe this is XML. So I'm gonna paste this in. So it's a very large JSON. This will be in the properties of the video. But the important parts right here are the inner HTML. This is our body, so we can actually write in here body and title. So I'll just put in body and title, then it'll do the title. And then our title is going to be the name of our SharePoint row. So these are the two important parts right in here. So the, the, the body right here. So let's just do body. We'll call it body. And I'm going to zoom in right there. Well, body, and then it's going to say the title. Then our title will be our title. And that's our save as draft. And then there's one last thing we need to do, and that's publish the page. So send HTTP um, SharePoint, and we want to publish it. So once again, auto magic, post. The URI this time is gonna be very similar, except for this is gonna be publish application JSON verbose. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna actually write something in the body here instead of title, and let's make sure we're in the right spot. So it's two over, all right, so two over. So we're gonna write in right here. So we're gonna write, we are going to write a long news post that we will be able to see the body of the content and make sure that it has lots of space. This could be a power app or a email. Who knows what it could be, but this is my body. So you know, you can make that dynamic, you can make that whatever you want, but I'm just gonna fill that in there for this test. I'm gonna hit save, and then let's test this out. Test, manual, test. 
I'm going to actually do two news posts at the same time. So first news post. And then I'm going to do a second news post because I just want to see what it looks like. Second news post. Go to our home page and you can see right here, right? We have this news post web part. This comes out of the box. We're kind of still waiting on the Power Automate to trigger. Microsoft made a change maybe within the last month or two where if you do a manual test, it takes a little bit longer. I'm not sure when that change happened, but it happened. And so we are just waiting for those news posts to trigger now and it's gonna change and fill out our news post web part. So we'll just give that maybe a minute or two. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole time, so I'll come back to recording in a second. All right, it looks like it ran, so it ran one time. Everything looks successful. Let's refresh the page, and we can see we now have first news post and second news post. When we click on one of those templates, you can see it here. We have our nice news post. You could have an image banner if you wanted to, if you wanted to add that to your template. We have our nice long body that we wrote and we have our title. If we go to site contents and site pages, we can see our first news post here, our second news post is here, and also our template. So we have automatically created news post through SharePoint through four different HTTP requests. I know people want this to be easier. It's not that bad. We're gonna put all those equations in the formulas for you in the properties of the video. If they don't fit in the properties, sometimes YouTube doesn't allow certain code in the properties. It'll be in a comment, so you can find it in the comment. I'll pin it to the top. Thank you all for watching. My name is Andrew Hess, and I'll see you next week.